I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I actually really like this product. <laughs> Hi, beautiful. Is box bleach actually bad for your hair? I don't know, but we're gonna find out today. I'm gonna put four of the top box bleach dye kits to the test to see which is best, which is worse, and if they're gonna make your hair fall off. Let's test them. Let's bring in the contestants for today. Where are you? Don't be scared. It's okay. I won't be too hard on you, or maybe I will. I'll be pretty hard on you, you're right, okay. Well, come on in. Oh, who is this? Ooh, ooh! We have Garnier Nutrice. And this is called Maximum Lightning Cream. Ultra Light Platinum, even for dark bases. Okay, one application and it'll bring you from light brown to platinum. There is um, no developer written on this packaging. I do not know what it is. So it's just a guessing game. It's definitely a powder lightener and lightning cream and developer. I've never mixed cream lightener with powder lightener, but should be an interesting experience. This claims to have eight levels of lift, which is a lot. I'm excited to see what this does. Who do we have next? Oh, oh we have L'Oreal Paris Colorista Bleach Decolorant. This is all over complete. Complete is spelt wrong, unless it's like a different language, but I'm pretty sure that's English. <laughs> all over complete. Please tell me that's not a typo on the box. Please. All over complete. Okay, well, anyways, bleach and play. We can go from pretty dark to very light. And that looks really nice. That looks like salon quality right there. And this one also has no developer online or written on the packaging that I see. You, you don't know what developer it is, which is always scary to me because is it 30? Is it 40? Is it 50? I don't know. Is it 20? I don't know. Oh, no, this one is powder and cream as well. Pretty much the same thing as Garnier with different packaging. Who is this? Oh, oh, we have Bleach London now. I mean, she looks iconic on that packaging. That is a hot picture, kind of obsessed with it. Her hair looks a little damaged. This is seven levels of lift, a little bit less than the other ones, but still good. And this one does say that it has 30 volume developer in it. I love 30 volume developers, so that's good that it tells you. Okay, I like that. Let's not be too secretive here. And uh, there's powder lightener and a little developer thing. I've never seen a pack of lightener so small in my life. We'll get into that in a second. Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's review the last one. And lastly, we have Arctic Fox Bleach Please or Please, depending on your mood. Complete hair lightening kit, cream bleach and developer plus gloves. Okay, iconic that they give you gloves. This has a bunch of great ingredients in it too. And this is 35 volume developer. Ooh, that's a lot. I like that though. You might need that. And here is the lineup. Here is the least expensive product and the most expensive product. Arctic Fox is $20. Bleach London is $13, L'Oreal is $10.99, and Garnier is $4.49. Oh my god, that is very, very cheap. Crazy difference. This is four times more expensive than this. We'll see today. Maybe there'll be no difference, maybe there'll be some, or maybe there'll be a drastic difference. So let's get testing. Alright, what do we got in this Garnier box? We're starting with this one. What do we have in here? We have cream developer that's like down to there. I don't know how they expect you to do your whole head with this. Pretty cute bottle, I must say. We have lightning cream conditioner. For some reason, they need to always put conditioner in these box dyes, and I don't understand, like, does nobody have conditioner at home? Like, why is that the thing that we need? I'll never understand. And then we have bleaching powder. Great, that's important. Do we have gloves, though? That's the question. I think they're in here. Yes, they are. We got some beautiful flat gloves. Should I use these today? Should I get the full experience? I think so. I'm gonna regret that, but let's do it anyways. All right, so we put A and C and A and B and C and A. But should I follow the directions of how much timing I should leave it on for too? 30 to 60 minutes. Okay, got it. All right, let me go mix this and we can start applying. Hi, Miss Manny Quinn. Your hair is gonna get ruined today. Uh, yeah, yeah, you lost the lottery on this one, um, but it's okay. I was gonna say I'll fix your hair another time, but I'm not going to. No, I'm not. Why don't you stop talking and me start applying, <laughs> shall we? Let me put my gloves on. These gloves are my worst nightmare. I don't like this at all. <laughs> Why do they actually fit really good? I was expecting so much worse. Okay, sorry for judging. This is actually totally fine. We're shaking this up and I guess uh, we're just gonna start applying on the, if you were doing this on a real person, you gotta go mids to ends before we do the roots. I mean, listen, 
Uh, don't put your nose up to it and smell it. But so far, I really like the consistency of this lightener. It's actually better than a lot of like, dare I say it, but like professional brands. I can't breathe, sorry. I'm trying to talk and breathe and do this at the same time and I'm having a hard time. It's very liquidy and runny, which I do like because you can really get it on that hair and really coat it nicely. And so far, I actually really like the application bottle. Should I start doing my retouches and my virgin lightener applications with a squeeze bottle? Like, this is nice. What's also really nice is the mixing process was very easy. However, the powder did get everywhere and was a little messy, but um, now the powder's fine. Oh God, just be careful. You might drop the bottle. It's a little slippery. There is, I think, enough in here to do her full head if I needed to. All right, now that the mids and ends are all applied, usually I would have to let this sit until it becomes pretty yellow um, in order to do the roots next. So that way everything processes nicely and evenly, but we don't have time for that today and it really doesn't matter if she gets hot roots. So even though she's a mannequin, it does tend to get hot roots. So just ignore that later. I'm trying to channel my inner like DIY hair person and I just don't know how I'm supposed to get this all on the roots evenly with this bottle and nothing else. Um, but we're gonna do the damn thing. We're just gonna go in for it. I mean, I'll shut on the top. I don't know. This is gonna be a mess. I feel like people would just go like this. Okay, it seems to have all gone through the hair and very evenly. I'm gonna say, I really like the consistency of this one. $4.49 and we are so far so good. Kind of shocking. I used like half of this though and uh, I don't know. You probably need two of these in order to finish the whole head. All right, on to the next one. We got L'Oreal Colorista. Let's check it out what's inside here. Okay, more of the same stuff. So we got a mixing bottle. This is the cream. Also, even less product than this one, it feels like. I'm not sure if that's true. Again, very weird to me that they mix powder, liner, and the cream, but you can do that. And then we got anti-brass conditioner. That's good. At least they're trying to help you, you know, and not just giving you a conditioner. Oh, it is the lightest purple I've ever seen in my life. That is not gonna do anything for you, but that's okay. At least they're trying. All right, I'm gonna apply this one the same way we did the last one. So far, the consistency is a little thicker, a little difficult to get out of the bottle. Oh no, I clogged the bottle. So far, the first two are pretty comparable. However, I do like the way the first one was more liquidy and the applicator bottle was much better. This one keeps getting clogged and is like, Ugh! oh my God, you wouldn't need four of these bottles to cover your entire head. I am getting through this thing quickly. Oh, I hate this bottle. So hard to use. Bleach London, what do we got in here? Let's see. Oh, I'm seeing a few different things this time. Okay, we have the bleaching powder. More bleaching powder. Okay, luxurious. We have two of them. That's amazing. And a lot of developer. That actually says 30 volume on it, which is awesome. And a little pack of gloves. These are the same gloves that are in the other two kits. So whatever. We have a, a protein mask. Ooh, okay, luxurious. And a little guide on how to do it. Oh, these are the, the gloves I was afraid of. Oh, my nose it. Oh, ow. <coughs> it's been mixed. There's quite a lot of it. Definitely, I would need four or five of these bowls to finish an entire head, but at least it's a bowl full. Sorry for the noise. I'm just trying to use my gloves. I miss my applicator bottle. That is for sure. That was so easy. Kind of impressed so far with all of this. Oh my God, hurting my nose. The consistency is definitely a bit thicker. We keep getting thicker and thicker as we move across the head, but still very nice. I am definitely gonna miss some spots here because this ain't easy to do four different quadrants like this with all different lighteners. Uh, I can't breathe again. Okay, finished with that. I went through almost all of it. I did that much air. Arctic Fox, the most expensive one. What do we got? 
Oh, it is cream lightener. Okay, this is a very cute bottle, I must say. We have 35 bomb developer, which seemingly probably double the developer because a lot of the creams require double developers. And then we have gloves and oh my God, are these real gloves? Oh my God, they are. They're actual latex gloves. Um, There is no conditioner. I approve of, because who the fuck needs that? Okay, Arctic Fox gloves. They're pretty decent. I'll take it. They're latex, love that. This consistency is a little more liquidy than the last one. Ooh, actually a lot more liquidy. I don't mind it. It might be a bit messy though. It feels a lot smoother for sure. Oh God, I keep speaking and I can't speak anymore because I'm dying. <laughs> um, <laughs> You can feel that there's oils in the formula because it's going on really smooth and really gliding through the hair. All right, we've completed every single section. I'm gonna let them all sit for 45 minutes and then I'll see you back here once they're all complete and dried. And then we're gonna figure out who is the best box dye bleach, if any of them. Okay, Miss Manny Quinn is ready. We're gonna show you the results. Are you ready for this? There was quite a difference between the lighteners and some really interesting findings. This is Miss Manny Quinn. Okay, we are getting brass on this side and we're getting blonde on this side. Uh, everything in between. Let's take a closer look, shall we? First up, we have our Garnier. The one I was scared of the most. This one was the cheapest and these are are our results. It actually feels quite good. Obviously it was like 20 volume because it did not lighten very much. So if your hair is anywhere near as dark as this, you're not gonna get much lightening. It also was not enough color. So you're gonna need to buy more than one of these, probably three of them or four of them to do your entire head, which is gonna be about $20. So is it really that cheap in the long run? Like, I don't think so. You'll never cover your entire head with this. So it's pretty comparable. However, besides that, I am blown away by this product. I'm honestly scared to put that sentence on the internet that I kind of like this. I would rate this one an eight out of 10. Up next, we have Colorista, which is this section right here. See, it's finally labeled. Ooh, this one lightened the least. This one also had no developer written on the packaging, so I don't know what it was. Um, the consistency was nice. You guys already heard everything I had to say about that, but the hair feels decent. It doesn't feel bad. I would say it feels pretty much the same as Garnier, and the lightning was almost the same. This had pretty much the same amount of color, except I hate the application bottle in this one, and this is definitely not enough to cover your Entire head, so you're gonna need like three boxes of this that brings the price up to like $33. So I don't know if that's very cost efficient either. I would rate this one a six out of 10. Up next, we have Bleach London. So this one definitely lightened the most out of all of them. We did have a little bit of snapping going on, a little breakage, a little bit of hair that won't dry, but that doesn't mean it's a bad lightener. It just means it was left on too long. It was definitely effective and it does say it was 30 volume lightener. I liked the lightener consistency overall. I feel like it had a strong smell and you know, you're obviously gonna need at least two of these to cover your entire head, which brings the price of this up to $26. I'm gonna rate this one a seven out of 10. And lastly, we have Arctic Fox. This is the color. Oh, that's not the front of it, that is. This looks really nice. This was 35 volume developer. It still has a lot of shine to it. It was a great consistency. I didn't have too much of a hard time breathing while applying that one. I do think you need more than one of these for sure to cover your entire head, at least two. It was by far the most expensive at $20. Getting two of these is gonna be a little pricey. It's not gonna be the cheapest cheapest thing ever, but it's really nice. And I just like the overall experience of this one. The gloves were great. Like honestly, the gloves go a long way for me. Thank you, Ms. Manny Quinn, and you can go back in the closet. <laughs> I'm so mean to her. I don't know why. She has not great energy. Do you feel it through the screen? I need to stop saying bad things about her though because she's gonna like haunt me, I swear. So let's put these in order from my favorite to my least favorite based off of the ratings I just gave them. Okay, so I mean, they go in order pretty easily. This is six out of 10, seven out of 10, eight out of 10, and nine out of 10. And yes, Arctic Fox was my favorite. You win, great ingredients, great formula. I liked how it applied all around a great experience. And you heard what I have to say about all the rest of them. I am obviously most shocked 
talked about the Garnier one. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I actually really like this product. It's not bad. You know, sometimes you just gotta admit it that you're you're a little shocked. And if you're gonna use any of these, please just use them with caution. You know, just because I like it doesn't mean it still can't snap your hair off, okay? Because it is lightener and it has the power to do that no matter what. Let's also not get these confused with box color. It is different. This is a bleach. The other one is color. I know not everybody understands the difference between bleach and color, but they are different. They should be treated differently. If you guys want to check out my hair color line or my hair care products, you can do so with the link right down below or go to xmodohair.com. We have so many different hair color products and hair care products for you to choose from, and they're all formulated and tested by me and the rest of my team. And that is all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye.